Hey guys, tell everyone where we are today. Uh, we're going to a slot canyon. <laughs> yes, we are going to a slot canyon. Look at these red, oh, red Navajo sandstone walls before us. And oh, what does this sign say? I don't know. You've got his face the wrong direction. <laughs> I know. I always do that. Look, this is about trail etiquette. Do not write scratch or apply any substance on rocks or walls no campfires keep pets on a leash that means you <laughs> i don't know if that means me or if it means you um look stay on existing roads and trails pack out what you pack in leave no trace of your visit so others may enjoy oh, wow look at this look how great and the walls completely overtop us in some of these areas. Um, I don't know. We can't see anything. Why? You've got us face the wrong direction. Oh, I'm sorry. I always do that. Let's remedy that situation. Hey, guys. So what do you think about this slot canyon? Um, I love it. It's beautiful. <laughs> it is beautiful. Um, so what kind of rock do you think this is? Um, slot rock. It's not, I don't think there's anything in existence known as slot rock. Maybe I'm wrong, but I've never heard of slot rock. But this is sandstone. And do you remember what we learned? Uh, do you remember what we learned when we were in Bryce Canyon? No. <laughs> okay, well, let me remind you. So in this area, uh, especially when we're talking about this type of sandstone, we have three environments. I remember deposition. That's right. Deposition. Uplift. Uplift. Correct. And, um, um, think hard. Um, <laughs> when something suffers from erosion, what kind of environment is that? Erosional. Yes, absolutely. Oh, look at this ladder we get to climb up. Um, we're not very good with ladders. Oh, I bet you can make it up this one. Just try hard, okay? <laughs> why do you... Why... Why do you always make that sound any time I ask you to give any kind of effort? Um, because things are difficult. <laughs> All right, let's climb this ladder. Okay, ready? On three. One. All right, you ready? <laughs> ready to climb it? Okay, on three. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, there's one step. All right, ready for the next step? Yeah, it's kind of hard now. Okay, one, two, three. <laughs> And one more step. One, two, three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was good. I'm very... Why are you laughing at us? <laughs> um, sorry, you just make me laugh sometimes. You guys are so funny. Oh, look at this tree trunk or limb or something i think it's a trunk uh that has gotten lodged in here did it grow in here uh it probably did not grow in here it probably was washed in uh during during a storm um so yeah so look at the the sides the walls of this canyon what do you notice uh, it looks pretty groovy it, it does look groovy. Slow down, you move too fast. You got to make the moment last. What are you singing? Kicking down a sandstone canyon. Looking for love and feeling groovy. Oh my gosh. You, you, you are singing. You're singing. Uh, Paul Simon and Art Garfunkel, the 59th Street Bridge song, Feeling Groovy? How do you guys know 
so many references from the 1960s and 1970s. Oh, look, so we're getting enclosed now. I'm getting scared. <laughs> Why are you getting scared? It's getting dark and the walls are closing in. Are the walls closing in? The walls are closing in. Now, are you talking about the walls of this canyon or is, is this like a metaphor of the complexity of life and the inevitability, inevitability. Um, I don't know what you're talking about with metaphors. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't get all psychoanalytical with me. Okay. Hey, we're just, uh, we're just having a nice little hike here. You don't have to get angry, but yeah, look at the, <laughs> how do we get off track? All right. So look at the sides of this wall. Of side of the walls and you mentioned now don't break out into song again but you mentioned that they looked groovy feeling groovy yeah I know now we have to ask ourselves well what causes that is that because of the original uh, sedimentary nature the deposition is that how it was layered when it was deposited or are those grooves based entirely on the nature of the erosional aspect and as debris washes through this canyon cause oh look it's getting dark again the walls are closing in on us um yeah these canyon walls are kind of getting a little bit narrow um i was talking more about the inevitability of life <laughs> I can't look up here. I can't keep up with you guys sometimes. You're hilarious. All right, here we are in this super narrow section. Um, but it's not as narrow as we've seen in the past. Zebra Canyon was much narrower. Uh, this is actually, I think, a much more enjoyable hike than Zebra Slot Canyon because we're able to walk through uninterrupted. Ow, oh, we've come to the end. We've come to the end of this section of the slot canyon. All right. Hey everyone. Um, I'm just checking in. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with those guys. Lef and Moo just took off and they have the map, they have the compass and the GPS. And I don't know, I've kind of lost my direction of which way I'm supposed to go. And I feel like maybe they went back to the car. I don't know, but I've been calling left, move. No, they're nowhere to be seen or heard. And I know it's starting to get dark and we have about two miles to hike back out. And I don't know if I can find my way out and I hope they're going to be okay. But I haven't seen them in ages. They just said they were going to go up around the corner because they wanted to look closer at these sandstone cliffs and walls and now I don't know where where they are so I might not be able to finish this video um, so if uh, if this just ends abruptly um, you know we might not be able to finish this this series okay all right guys well I hope you'll Bear with me here, and then maybe, oh, there you guys are. What are you doing? Why did you run off? You took forever. Yeah, but you're, we're, you know, we're supposed to be a team here, and uh, you ran off, you have the map, you have the GPS. Yeah, we also have your cell phone. You have my cell phone? You, why are you taking my, all right, look. <laughs> All right, we're going to we're going to have to come to an agreement here that we have to stick together, okay? Um, can we get
get some coffee now? <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's go get some coffee. I would love some.